Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, if you're new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing, and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with my top six accessories upgrades for beginning diamond painters. I'm gonna take you through each of these different tools and give you recommendations from both a budget price point to a boutique or bougie price point. I'm gonna talk you through the reasons to go with one or the other, and I'm gonna have some links below for you so you can click right over and do some shopping. Hopefully this is going to make your diamond painting experience that much more comfortable and enjoyable. I know as we're starting out as beginning diamond painters, it can be really overwhelming to see the number of options for different accessories there are out there. If you go into Amazon and type in diamond painting accessories, you're going to see a whole host of things. And frankly, I think a lot of them are things that you absolutely do not need. I've narrowed it down to the top six that I think will be very useful for you today. And uh, we're going to go through those together now. A couple quick notes before we get started. So first, any prices and or shops that I mention are going to be current as the time of this filming. A lot of the budget options I'm going to be sharing with you are available on Amazon and prices tend to fluctuate on Amazon. So apologies if the price point is not exactly what I share with you today check back often and hopefully the price will drop down to what I said or even lower. Also, a lot of the boutique options I'm going to share with you today are small shops and sometimes unfortunately small shops close or availability changes. So I'll do my best to keep the links in the description below up to date. So be sure to check down in there. I'll try to, you know, update with, you know, take shops off that have closed, add new ones that may be open since the time that I posted this video, but I still feel really good about recommending to you. I'm really going to try to keep the shops down there. Ones that I feel good about recommending to you as far as quality and customer service and all those things go. With that being said, let me go ahead and start with the absolute top upgrade that I would recommend to you. Nearly every diamond painting kit that you buy is gonna come with some sort of basic toolkit. That is almost always going to include a basic pen and sometimes a squishy. This is totally acceptable and fine to use. However, this is the very first thing that I would recommend upgrading. Um, so the first thing I wanna show you is the budget option. This diamond painting pen is from Amazon and you can see if you compare it side by side, uh, it is thicker, it's a little bit more ergonomic and um, it's also just prettier, I suppose. But honestly, the main reason that I recommend upgrading this is because it's going to be more comfortable to hold. Using the uh, the basic pen is going to, I hear a lot of people talk about how uh, it, their hand starts to hurt after a little while of diamond painting. And so this is just one of the best upgrades I feel like you can make. This was $5 on Amazon. There are a ton of pens around this price point and often they'll come bundled with other accessories. This one happened to come with some metal tips in it without any additional cost and um, there are even some ones that have you know a variety of uh, you know different kinds of styles and prints and whatnot so this is pretty comfortable to hold and is definitely a good budget option for you now as far as a boutique option would go we have some hand turned diamond painting pens this one is from lace and lathe works and I have another one over here that is from enablers outpost and these are even they're even thicker and have more to them kind of more elaborate we call this a turning style to them um, than the budget option and the reasons that I think you could, should consider a boutique option well there are a few one and you're gonna hear me mention this in each of our most of our boutique options here is uh, your support a small shop and typically these are the shop owners people that are in our community and it's nice to support small shops but as far as just budget goes like what uh, sets these apart from the budget option um, these tend to be a little bit sturdier I have found that the budget options tend to be a little bit more prone to breaking and cracking especially if you're changing out the placers or whatnot or just kind of over time the pressure of actually doing diamond painting I feel like it's sometimes put pressure on here and I've cracked these pens before however the uh, boutique options these tend to be a lot sturdier you you also get, if you enjoy aesthetics, um, there's a lot of options as far as different sort of, you know, colors and styles and whatnot. And if we're talking about ergonomics, again, there's a lot of options when you get into these hand-turned pens where there are ones that are a lot thicker. And so, especially if you have arthritis or um, other like kind of discomfort in your hand, this is kind of a medium turning, but they make ones that are a lot thicker and can be even more comfortable to hold. And these are highly customizable typically. So you can get something that really just you feel like is fitting your hand and your diamond painting style um, just, just the way that you like it. 
the price point for boutique or bougie pens is going to run you really $25 to $30 and upward. Some custom diamond painting pens will go for as much as $65 or more. Uh, these two tend to be, I feel like, relatively budget friendly um, companies once you get into the world of hand turned diamond painting pens. And so, again, this was Lace and Lathe Works, and this is Enablers Outpost. So, like I said, if I were going to recommend, if you were going to upgrade only one thing today, I think that a pen would be the absolute top thing that I would suggest to you. My second most recommended diamond painting beginner upgrade is going to be a tray. Something like this is typically the tray that you're going to get with your basic toolkit with your diamond painting. Um, again, this will work. However, I find it to be pretty small, uh, both in terms of like the sheer amount of diamonds you can fit in here and the height of the sides. It's really easy to spill diamonds out of these trays. So this is definitely my t my second um, thing that I recommend upgrading after a pen. Now, you don't have to spend a lot on this either. If you're looking for a budget option, option. This is from Amazon and it was $6 and I think came in a three pack. Um, there are a lot of different options. Again, like the pen, you'll often see these combined with a variety of other diamond painting accessories, a lot of which I feel like aren't necessarily as useful or as important as the tray itself. But if you're comparing this side by side with the toolkit tray, it's a huge difference. Um, the sides are quite a bit taller than the, than the toolkit tray. Um, it's obviously a lot larger, so you'll be able to fit a lot more diamonds in here. Um, and is just generally this is a lot easier to work with and if you like to multi-place if you get into multi-placing at a certain point in your diamond painting journey this is going to be make make that so much easier than working with a little tray like this so um the downside is that you really don't see a lot of color options or variety in terms of really basic budget options on amazon but if you don't really care about that you're just on a budget this is going to work fantastically for you and uh, you just you can't go wrong so uh, this would be the budget option in. And then as far as boutique or bougie options go, I actually have several trays to share with you here and it kind of is going to make the point for itself um, that they're just, when it comes to bougie options, there are a lot more options out there where you can, much like the pens, really get something that um, fits exactly what you're looking for in terms of your diamond painting style. Um, this is from Cat Proof Diamond Painting Trays. If you have little ones or pets, it comes with a lid that you can snap on here that is really secure and works really well. And it has what's called like an internal spout. And this is a 3D printed tray with a fun color gradient. Uh, this is a tray from Firefly Diamond Art. And you know, an, an, ups, an upside to getting one of these kind of boutique options is that sometimes you'll get fun things like they might have prints on the lids. You'll see obviously fun colors like we have here. This has a slide off lid feature and has other features like a spot you can put your pen, um, a little pop out trash drill holder, a built in uh, spout that'll stop the drills from sliding out until you want them to or you just pull it open like this. So just a lot of additional features that again, if this is a craft you're finding that you're spending a lot of time doing, those features can be really a nice upside and make your diamond painting experience easier. And then this one's from Bijou Bliss. It just, again, another variety of features. This one is magnetic and has a lid, again, with some fun designs, fun colors. It has a magnetic stopper as well. Um, I find these also to sometimes be an upgrade over the budget option in terms of uh, the... And aside from just sort of the cute factor and the high customization ability, often the, the sides are even taller than the basic one is. It does have the added features of like a stopper and the lid sometimes. Um, and like we said before, you're supporting a small shop, which is always nice. Um, and again, there's a high customization ability to these. There's certain colors you're looking for. Some of them even have specific styles you can pick. There's ergonomic options like from Yellow Dog Diamond Painting Trays. I don't have one of theirs handy to show you, but they have one where it literally has curves built into it for your fingers. So there's just a lot of options out there for different sizes, different colors, different features that you can really just, I think, find exactly what you're looking for in terms of a diamond painting tray. And that's going to make like, it, it's going to make as much of a difference as a pen in some ways because it's what you're pouring your drills into and picking them up out of. So um, the one downside, and I've neglected to mention this with the pens, but one downside to what I'm sharing with you guys today as far as like the boutique versus budget options is nearly all the budget options I'm going to be sharing with you are available on Amazon with prime shipping if you live in the U.S. So you're looking at being able to get some of these budget accessories in you know two days or less versus some of these small shops sometimes as a custom order you can be looking at multiple weeks of a turnaround time and you're paying for shipping sometimes so those are absolutely factors to take into account as well um but you know just 
other information for you guys to have. So that was number two. Number three in my top six beginner upgrades list for diamond painters is going to be putty and yes specifically putty and not necessarily wax because usually your basic uh toolkit is going to come with some kind of pink wax is usually what it is not always but usually this is an honestly this is a really great option especially i like this in my single placer this is not something i feel like you need to go out necessarily and prioritize prioritize a wax alternative i think this works however i really highly recommend that you try some putty especially if you're using a multi-placer at all now the budget option i don't have the outside packaging for this but this is actually quake hold museum putty and um this cost four dollars and fifty cents on amazon um there's another brand that i have actually not tried before that's called loctite I believe it's also called museum putty and that is two dollars and fifty cents on amazon and this putty is it's just it's a huge block of it it's going to last you forever um <clears throat> and you can just pinch little bits off and you can put it in your single placer or your multi-placer and i find that it lasts a pretty long time and is uh these budget options are good just as sort of a I feel like a baseline and a starting point if you're wanting to try out putty i feel like this is a really cheap and easy way to go to try these out i used this for a very very long time before i decided to try out some boutique options from some small shops so i have two small shops to share with you today um this one is from randa's crafty corner and this one is from butterfly effect wears now i find that putty is what you like is really going to depend on your climate and so you might find when you get into these boutique options Options, that you're having to try out different ones to see which works best for your climate. I find that Randa's Crafty Corner what works well for mine in all seasons, especially like in the summer is when I find that some putties don't work too, as well for me. They tend to maybe be too soft or too tricky to work with. Um, you also sometimes with some putties, they will have fun designs on them. And this is just like a fun aesthetic thing, but this one from Butterfly Effect Wears, they made like a rainbow with, which I think is just really cute. And a lot of these uh, small shop or boutique putties are going to have scents or other fun themed things to them like you know if you like coordinating accessories if you get into that with diamond painting it's like oh I can coordinate this with some rainbow fun so um, these will tend to run you though anywhere from seven to eight dollars and up depending on kind of how big of a thing of putty that you're getting so um, these are kind of the boutique and uh and bougie options and then we have our budget option over here and this is a little bit more trial and error in terms of figuring out which which is really going to work for you and your diamond painting style next up number four on my list of uh, top six accessories upgrades for beginning diamond painters is going to be storage. Uh, this is almost a must because if you get diamonds that come in heat sealed bags that you have to cut open, you need some place to put the diamonds, right? So um, the best budget option that I have to suggest is going to be really inexpensive. Um, it's going to be just baggies. I can get a bag, uh, a set of a hundred of these baggies. And these ones happen to have a spot where you can actually write with Sharpie on the label. So you could write like the DMC code or even write out the symbol uh, for this color if you wanted to. Um, a box of a of these um, was about five dollars um, and then this is just something that I got from the dollar spot at Target for a dollar and you could literally just line up your baggies in this so you don't have to spend a lot on a storage option this is something that would be really like space efficient and just very easy and easy to put together as well another inexpensive option particularly if you live in the states would be these uh, this is called harbor freight containers they used to be five dollars but i noticed that the price has gone up the like flat retail price is now i think 7.99 on the website but when i looked if you went into the store you could get these for five dollars and fifty cents us um and this is just a really really budget-friendly option for structured storage this it's just one I stuck in there extra. This is how many it comes with. And all of these containers are the same size, but they hold a good amount of diamonds. And, you know, it's got the bigger container to hold, up, hold all of it. And so uh, this is a good option if you're wanting to look into get into structured storage containers. Um, the downside to this is that I think getting it online is a little bit more of a pain. Um, I don't know if you can get it for that sale price online. So you have to find a Harbor Freight near you. But this is what you'll see a lot of diamond painters recommend as a good budget-friendly um, storage option for your diamonds.
Now for boutique options, uh, my absolute favorite is always going to be this brand, which is Elizabeth Ward. There are some off brands available in stores like Joanne's, um, but this is I just typically most people know it as the Elizabeth Ward brand containers. I love these because they all come in this case. They're very interchangeable. I have several sets of these and just kind of mix and match them with the sizes that I need for the kit I'm working on. I really like that these have different sizes of containers um, and that they just, they hold a good amount of diamonds and it's very storage friendly. These cases are stackable and the interchangeableness of them these are just these are ones i've always gone to for over four years now um, they're absolutely my favorite if you're wanting something that's a little bit different and maybe a little bit more i guess like travel friendly i do also have this kind of um, suitcase option that comes in here and it has different size bottles on the inside let me unzip it and show you real quick so you open it up and it does have um, a storage compartment up here and then it has just a foam thing that holds all these different size. Well, these are all one size on the top. They're kind of a shallower um, screw top size. And uh, these are a little bit deeper, the layer on the bottom. They're a little bit bigger. So this holds like 100 and, I don't know, 160, 148. I can't remember exactly how many. And this is pretty travel friendly. There are a ton of different brands uh, on Amazon that have those. I think Art Dot has some. And those suitcase style ones will run you about $15. The Elizabeth Wards are gonna run you around $20 or less. Uh, these ones, really the price fluctuates quite a lot on Amazon. And so I definitely recommend checking back and trying not to pay more than 20, maybe 25 at the most dollars for these. You can definitely like wait for that sale. I don't want you to be overpaying for these. Um, so as far as storage goes, this is just gonna be a lot of personal preference too. You gotta figure out what you like the best and um, yeah, there's some budget and boutique options for those. Number five on my list is actually going to be washi tape. So washi is actually a really versatile tool that I use in a number of different ways in terms of my diamond painting. And I'm recommending this in part because it is so versatile and also in part because it is really inexpensive um, and a little bit fun too. But I use washi tape to go around the border of the drill field because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of where the diamonds are gonna go and that just loves to collect dust and dirt. Let's cover that up. I actually use washi tape to section off my canvases into smaller areas to work on. It's really structured, it works well for me. And I also use washi tape for things like if I'm trying to put a placer in a pen, especially like a metal placer and it's loose, I just wrap some washi tape around um, the you know base of that uh, placer and that helps make it more secure in the pen. And there's just, there's so many things you can do with washi tape. You can use it to help with labeling your storage containers. So it's a really versatile tool. I highly recommend it and you don't have to spend a lot on it. So you can go with, um, these are just ones that you can get in bulk, like on, on Amazon or, you know, other, other shops. There's a lot of shops that have this kind of thing and you can get these for um, as little as like 25 cents a roll. Now, the thing that I find with these is that they don't tend to stick super well. I know washi tape is supposed to be really low tack, but these just stick a lot less than some of the other ones I'm gonna show you. But there is still a nice variety of prints. I would caution you against ones that have glitter in them or something like that, because those often will transfer onto the glue on, you know, around the edge of your canvas. So I would caution against that. Another budget option that you can get in stores is actually the Scotch Expressions brand. This runs around $3 a roll but this is I know a lot of people really swear by this particular brand and I do like it a lot it's a bit stickier and there's some fun pattern options so those are my budget recommendations for washi tape and then as far as some boutique or bougie options <clears throat> My favorite go-to, and I have a lot of these, are from uh, Simply Gilded. I find that these generally stick very, very well, and there are a ton of really incredibly cute options um, from this shop. I also really like this shop, Archer and Olive, um, and they have some really fun options as well. Um, and so you can really, if you want to, you can match to your canvas if you like, or if you just need something practical, um, it's, it's good for that too. And... Uh, Places like Simply Gilded and Archer and Olive are gonna run you more like $5 a roll. Now, one thing you do wanna keep in mind is just kind of comparing these, for example. Um, so even comparing these two, you gotta look at the amount that is on your roll. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're shopping. If you're thinking, oh, this is a really, really cheap deal, do double check how long the rolls that you're getting are, and you might actually be getting a lot less washi tape for the price point. But if you're just want wanting to test it out and see, is washi tape something you feel like you're actually going to use, is it something you wanna invest in, um, then you know go with some of those cheaper options and see if it's for you, and then you, know, you can go from there. Um, <clears throat> so those are my budget and boutique options as far as washi tape goes. 
The sixth and final thing I want to recommend to you guys today as far as beginner upgrades for your diamond painting accessories is actually going to be something that I don't really use. However, however, this I've heard and I understand why has been an absolute game changer for so many people with their diamond painting experience and that is going to be a light pad. Um, so what this says is it's, you know, I don't have this plugged in, but you would hit this button and it lights up, it, you put it under your canvas and it backlights the symbols for you and it can really, really help if you're having trouble seeing this symbols if you have difficulties with vision or just in general like making out the differences between symbols this can be an absolute life changer and make your, a huge difference with your diamond painting experience I recommend good lighting not just necessarily a backlight but I find that overhead lighting makes a big difference for me but I have to mention a light pad to you guys today um, because like I said I think I'm the exception in that I don't really use one um, so as far as a budget price point goes there is less of a difference between kind of the budget and the boutique price points for these. Um, this is from Amazon. You can get, this isn't what's called an A4 size. So it's about the size of a sheet of paper, like eight and a half by 11 ish. Um, this size, an A4 size is, a, you can get it for around $10 on Amazon. And, um, these you can either get it with a cord that you plug into like the wall you'd probably have to upgrade to something that's big enough to plug into the wall I have um, since I don't have an outlet that's super close by if I were to use this I just use like an external um, like battery charger and this just plugs into here and then it has a USB connector and you can use it that way you can even get something to help I know a lot of people say they accidentally will push this button turn off their light pad you can get something to cover that if you want you can just use something around you know home like a bottle cap or something if you wanted um, but yeah the a4 version you can get for around ten dollars um, art dot has one and there's a lot of miscellaneous kind of Amazon brands that have it uh, if you're wanting to go with kind of a more um, what I would say in this case is a boutique or a bougie option. Really that's gonna involve like if you wanna get just a bigger size. Some people will want a bigger size light pad, like maybe an A3 or bigger. So A3 um, is a little bit bigger size and that runs you know $17 or more on Amazon. And the bigger the light pad you get, the more it's going to cost you as far as you know the price point goes. If you really, 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 <laughs> I saw this when I was looking, if you're really wanting to get like super fancy and props to you, if this is, this is what works for you I saw that they have a rechargeable light pad that you don't even have to worry about you know like hitting I don't think you have to worry about hitting the button or trying to plug it in that's the big thing it's not having to worry about cords or cables a rechargeable light pad the cheapest one I saw was $40 US but if that's something you feel like you would benefit from just know that that kind of thing is out there so that was number six and like I said I know it makes a really big difference for a lot of diamond painters and I couldn't not mention that to you guys today so there we have it. Let me give you a really quick recap. So top, top, top upgrade that I recommend to you as a beginning diamond painter is to upgrade your pen. And then I'd recommend upgrading your tray. And then from there and then on out, I feel like it's kind of what sounds, you know, like it would be right for you and what your kind of uh, stress points are as far as what you're struggling with in terms of diamond painting, what's getting in the way of you enjoying it and making it feel like comfortable physically and all that. Um, so then number three, I had, I had said was um, putty. Number four was storage. Number five was washi tape. And number six was a light pad. Now, most of the budget options that I shared with you today are from Amazon. So you are going to get the benefit with all of those, uh, you know, for the most part being two day shipping, free shipping, and just generally being really price friendly. Um, and then most of the boutique options that I showed you today, most but not all necessarily are going to be from small shops in the community. So the upside is you're getting to support fellow crafters and get something that has been handcrafted um, and just has a little bit of that extra to it and does offer some additional perks in a lot of cases. So what I shared with you today is going to be really subjective. Um, think about where you're, like I said, where you're struggling, where you're you're feeling some like stress points in terms of your diamond painting experience and let that guide you but I thought this would be a good starting point for those of you that are beginners and trying to sort of make sense of the absolutely overwhelming amount of information that's out there like I said if you go to you know, YouTube or Amazon and look up diamond painting accessories you will just see it's it's overwhelming it's just a mountain of options and so much of it I just think you really don't need and definitely doesn't need to be a priority but please let me know what you guys think um, I'm gonna have these all linked below and again I'm gonna try to come back and update that from time to time um, as you know shops 
close or open that I feel like I really want to recommend to you or if price points really change wildly. Uh, so be sure to check there because it, just in case something I mentioned here today isn't uh, still available, I just want to give you that disclaimer, but I still um, would be interested to hear from you. Do you agree? Do you feel like these are the kinds of things that you would prioritize or that if, did you go ahead and try these out and come back and let me know, hey, yeah, this made a difference or actually I really wish that you would have recommended this other accessory instead and seasoned diamond painters, please feel free to chime in in the comments and share what your personal thoughts are because so much about diamond painting is going to be subjective and it's really just going to be about what works for you. There is not only one right way to diamond paint. It's just whatever's going to make the craft enjoyable and comfortable for you. That's it for today, you guys. Please subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting videos from me. I do a lot of kind of tutorials like this and uh, unboxings and uh, whipping chats. I would, in reviews of completed kits, I would love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.